prayers can be sinful. I wanted to give you all a very dangerous and powerful revelation concerning the kingdom of God as it pertains to prayer. Did you know that your prayer can go up to heaven as a sin? Did you actually know that? So just imagine all of these people that are incredibly wicked, that are attached to churches, right? And I'm going to speak on a lot of the people that I have encountered, a lot of the people that I have met. A lot of them were praying along with me. Their prayers were not a sweet aroma uh, to our king. Uh, they were actually foul, they were funky, and they were repulsive to Christ. And I'm going to tell you that many of you pray and your prayers are going up as a sin. And I'm going to prove that to you through scripture. Now let's read Psalms 109 verse 7. When his case comes up for judgment, let him be pronounced guilty. Count his prayers as sin. So one of the things that I have been religiously doing is all of these witches that have been coming against me, I have been petitioning the courts of heaven, even pastors that are coming against me because there are people uh, that are behind closed doors that have actually been praying against me. God reveals the names all the time. Um, they come in my dreams. I get deep revelation and I've been petitioning the courts of heaven. And these are the prayers that I'm praying. And so this is actually Bible. This is law. Okay. So imagine you being a witch, right? And you meet Apostle Genesis and you say, I want to tear down everything she's doing. I'm even going to pray against your kids. When your um, case is submitted before uh, the king, God, right? And you go before him because your spirit man is going to go before him. All of your prayers are going to be counted as sin. That is my declaration for you witches, because you need to be brought down off this high horse that you all are on. Witchcraft make you witches very prideful. Um, witchcraft got you thinking that you all that in a bag of chips when you really ain't worth a nickel, worth a dog meat. OK, and so all of your prayers are being counted as sin in Jesus name. This is my proclamation for every witch that tries to come against me. This is my proclamation for every person that tries to pray prayers against what I am doing and try to defile me by trying to get me to come in agreement by way of me praying for you or you sowing into me. Um, there was a girl yesterday. Her name is Janisa Jackson. She's been emailing me constantly. And then she sent a seed of $50 to me. Um, and she decreed that my money be cursed. I sent her her offering back. Um, and she doesn't realize the spiritual implications behind her just chanting that over me. Um, but I want you all to know that many of you, uh, you have went before the mercy seat because the devil goes before God all the time on your behalf. He does it all the time. All the judgments that you place, all of the good sermons that you have actually watched that you don't apply. And then don't you know, let me tell y'all something, how it's so powerful, how the kingdom of God in the spirit world works. Say, for example, you're crying out to God about something. You came across my content. There is a video that I did that relates to everything that you have gone through. But because you get so offended because you don't like the way I talk, because you want to find a fault in me, once you come across that content, you don't apply it. Do you know the devil can actually use that against you? Bet you to know that because a lot of you, 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 you look at my videos as insignificant and all of those things, which is totally fine. I'm totally okay with that. But I want you to understand that many of you, your prayers are actually appearing as sin before God. Okay. So when you don't live right, when you live in fornication, when you live in pride, when you live in adultery, when you do witchcraft, when you do all of these things, 95% of you all's prayers are being counted as sin. See, you all don't really understand the spiritual implications. This is why it's laughable and comical that you all constantly trying to do witchcraft. You all constantly trying to do things as if one day I'm magically just going to stop serving Christ and you're just going to devour me in the night. I pray that this Bible verse actually opens your spiritual eyes and ears. I pray that you all really stop. Even calling me a witch is so comical. I would never stoop that low to do witchcraft. 
First of all, everybody that do witchcraft to me is incredibly scary because you all act really nice in person and on online, but you're nothing like that. You're ravenous wolves. And I get it. That's the game of deceit. That's how the game is played. But you witches are scary to me. And you all try to afflict and torment and torture people behind closed doors. I call that cowardly. I call that cowardly. For you to even associate me as a witch is, you all know that's not even true. Um, but you don't like being told the truth. You don't like a you don't like real authority. You don't like real leadership. And it doesn't come boxed. It isn't presented the way that you all would like it to. The way that I rebuke and the things that I tell you all, there's no other way to say it but to say it. There is no politically correct when you're dealing with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has never talked to me politically correct, ever. Okay? So, woe unto you in Jesus' name. I pray that you all really meditate on this scripture. Because when your cases are come coming before the judgment and the mercy seat of God, it's being counted as a sin. 